Well, obviously, when I first started using social media, how it's kind of been approached and, you know, the fear factor that was attached to it by, by most of my industry uh, to, you know, 2015, almost 2016, and now they kind of embrace it. I mean, they still don't fully understand it, I don't think. I think some get it better than others, but they don't understand the, the kind of short, medium and long-term ramifications of how it's changed. Firstly, the attitudes of the consumer, you know, and also how they communicate in terms of the content they kind of put out. And maybe people will deem, well, I think it going as being completely radical, but I don't think it's outside the realms of reality. I mean, if you thought two years ago, three years ago, players have been negotiating, you know, social media profiles into contracts, people would have thought you were crazy. But you look at it now, and if you look at someone and say, Cristiano Ronaldo has got X amount of Instagram followers and X amount of social media presence, and all of a sudden that becomes a valuable commodity to the purchasing club. Now, we're in an age of the global consumer, you know, the days are long gone of, you know, your local football fan living within X amount radius of the football club. You know, we're talking with global corporations, you know, and, um, you know, they're making a lot of a, a profit, and I don't really see that coming back because they've got shareholders to feed and people with vested interests in the fact that these corporations, clubs, take advantage of these emerging marketplaces and people will start uh, changing the landscape. I mean, you know, basically with the social media availability we all have now, you can basically reinvent yourself as anything you want now, from fashion blogger to, you know, football pundit online. All you need is a YouTube channel to do that. So the technology's there, you know, consumers on smartphones now, you know, basically that's how a, a large percentage of uh, the kids, that what we call them now, the kids of today consume stuff, you know, you know, if you talk to me about the internet, I kind of see the internet as a computer and then, and then a laptop and like kind of now as a smartphone. These kids don't even know the first two. They don't remember plugging the, the phone line in the wall and dial up. So all they know is they've got these smartphones and they can interact with anyone. But we don't see the world through these kids' eyes. So the consumer is changing. Um, and this is the great thing about it is the people who are trying to preempt what these kids are doing have got no concept of what they're going to try and do. So where they're going to pop up and then the generation behind them who, who are all they're going to know, they're going to look at smartphones the same way we look at it, like an internet dial-up. A lot of people get caught up, I feel, in trying to replicate the past. So to say, what? okay, let's try and do what they've been doing for two years now. Well, you're too late, you've missed that. That, that boat sailed. The world keep moving forward. We need, you need to be ahead of trends, or certainly, you know, if you think of it about a wave, you certainly be, be, need to be aware of where the waves are breaking, and can you be on that wave as it breaks? And um, as I say, you, you know, to do that, you need to be really, really um, adaptable, and I think you need to be really, really uh, mindful of what's going on around you, because it's probably gonna be happening outside of what people deem the normal spectrum.